Hello friends, welcome back. In previous tutorial, we studied uh, the algorithm for a critical section problem, which used the test and set instruction, right? That algorithm satisfied the condition of mutual exclusion, but it did not satisfy the condition of boundary debating. Now, in this tutorial, we will implement an algorithm using test and set instruction, which will uh, satisfy the condition of bounded weighting and uh, pr uh, progress also, which will satisfy all the three conditions of solution of critical section problem. So in this case, uh, there will be two common data structures. One is a Boolean array weighting of size n. Another is Boolean variable log. These uh, both are initialized to false. And in system, there are n processes, p0, p1, p2, p3, so on up to pn minus 1. And there is a local variable key, right, local boolean variable key. And is, it is also initialized to false. Now, this will be the general structure of process pi. Right, so what happens? The process pi, first it sets waiting i to true and then it's a local variable key to true, right? And then here there is a while loop. So as long as waiting i and key, they both are true, this loop will be executed, right? Now what happens in this loop? See this statement. Uh, there is a test and set instruction, right? And its input parameter is address of variable lock, right? So what it does, it uh, returns the value of variable lock and that value is assigned to the variable key and it sets the value of variable lock to true if uh, the value of variable lock is false right then test and set instruction will uh, assign value false to variable key right it will return false to variable key and that value will be assigned to variable key and it will set variable lock to true right so when uh, value of variable key become false then what will happen the process will come out of this while loop right because when uh, this variable key become false this condition which is in while right it will become false right and then it will set waiting i equal to false and enter its critical section. So when it is in critical section, the value of variable lock is true and no other process will be allowed to enter its critical section, right? See, when this variable lock is true, then what will happen? This test and set instruction will return true value and the value will be assigned to variable key. So the variable key will remain true. So the condition which is here in while it will remain true right so process will remain stuck in this while loop right so only when the variable log is false then what will happen this process is enter in its critical section right or when this waiting i is false then also the condition in while loop will be false and process will come out of its loop right now after executing its uh, critical section what the process pi does now see this code what this uh, code is doing it is checking all the processes in this cyclic order pi plus 1 pi plus 2 so on up to pn minus 1 and then p0 then p1 and so on up to pi minus 1 right so it will take the index of next process and is assigned to variable j right i plus 1 mod n and this value is assigned to variable j so what is the value of j it will be the index of next process the process which is next to pi right it will be the index of that process right if we check if we take consider this cyclic order right in this order what the process will be next to pi right its index is assigned to variable j now see after that there is a while loop this while loop will be keep on executing as long as this uh, condition which is specified here this is true 
so what happens in this while loop in this while loop uh, the value of variable j will be keep on increasing right so value of variable j will be increasing in this order right it will be increasing in this order as you can see the indexes of these processes are increasing in the same order the value of variable j will be keep on increasing it will be keep on increasing as long as this condition in is specified here is true right so is this condition is true as long uh, as long as j is not equal to i right and waiting j is false right so when this uh, condition becomes false right this condition can becomes false uh, when uh, either j is equal to i right or waiting j is equal to true right if j equals to i right then what will happen this process pi sets the log to false right and if waiting j is true right then what will happen this process pi it sets waiting j equals to false right so first uh, this condition is checked that if j equals to i right if j equals to i then log is set to false but if j is not equal to i right and waiting j is true then it will set waiting j equals to false then what will happen right if it sets waiting j equals to false then what will happen it is giving the chance to process pj to enter its critical section right how now see see this condition while this while condition right this while condition can be false when either this variable key it becomes false or this waiting i it becomes false right it is for process pi so for process pj right to enter its critical section right to come out of its while loop right what is needed either this variable key right it becomes false or waiting j it becomes false right so till now you have seen that uh, uh, in process pi up to here right up to here right up to this uh, line of code what happens the value of variable log is set to true right so if uh, after that waiting j right is set to false right because uh, if uh, uh, waiting j is true and the process pi sets waiting j equal to false then it will allow the process pj to enter its critical section right so up to now what will happen the value of variable log is true right so the value of uh, variable log process pi will set to false if j equals to i right if uh, j is not equal to i and waiting j is true then it will not set log j to false right it will set waiting j to false right and it will allow the process pj to enter its critical section right so in this way it is satisfy the condition of bounded waiting and progress also